Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Robbie with me. We've just beaten Nottingham Forest 2-1 here at the City Ground. Julian said he was so disappointed in, in Nottingham Forest today. He said they, they were they were they come out, didn't even try and play. He thought they were gonna come out and play. But I said to him, that's that was smart from Nottingham Forest. We got the job done and that's what matters. So they, 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 um, you can't blame Nottingham Forest. That's a tactic, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, you can't be disappointed in them. That's but the first half it worked as well. It worked. We had 81% possession, mm. no shots on target. You know, we had eight shots, we were controlling the game, but we weren't really getting through to them and um they would have seen what West Ham did, yep. got success of it. There's been other teams that have had success with it. You know what I mean? It's a tactic. I, I actually felt that in the second half now, they came at us, us a bit more yeah. and it opened it up for us and then we just took over the game. Was that and the difference, Robbie? Was that them coming out or was it more when Arteta went in at the change room at half time and said, listen, try something or, or be more I, direct? I, I think a bit of both. I think we stepped it up definitely in the second half, but also they definitely, when they brought Erwan Yee on, they definitely had a go a bit more. Yeah. So when they had a go a bit more now, that opened it up for us and we were able to take advantage of that. And I just felt that, you know, we, we, we played very well in that second half up until that last little scare at the oh end. God, I thought yeah. we absolutely dominated the game. You know, this is a very, very hostile stadium to come to. They make a load of noise in there. We, we quietened the crowd by the way we were controlling the game. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I thought it was a great win tonight. Really important win. You know, there's no margin for error. Coming out of the ground and seeing Villa losing at home to, to, to Newcastle. Yeah. You know, you, you, you just realise how big a win that was tonight. You know what I mean? And apart from that little scare at the end, you know, it was a very comfortable night for us. It, it was a good, very good away performance. It was a good away performance because the, the win is all that matters. But I spoke with Lee and he said, you know, this is not a game that you look at all the nooks and crannies and you over criticise. But is there still frustrations with you? Because we did, we kept the we kept the ball well, but over playing times, we, players could have shot, they weren't shooting. Yeah, you know, I think more in the first half, more in the first half. In the second half now, we started having more shots. And there was a couple of players in the team I thought were brilliant today. I thought Jesus, yeah. at times, unplayable, man. He, he was excellent today. He really was, you know what I mean? And he got his goal and it just weren't the goal. It was everything he was involved the in. You know what as mean? Well. Yeah, he was brilliant. And I thought Saka was really, really good today. Great finish. And I thought every time he got the ball, that spelt danger for Forrest. You know what I mean? He was really good. Returning back um, to his to what we saw last season, you think, or is it still too early to say? Because that, that was sort of what we saw from, from Saka last season. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was good today. And um, yeah, we deserve to win the game. You know what I mean? And it, as I said, just a little scare at the end, but a comfortable, away win at a very, very difficult place to come to, you know what I mean? Not many teams come here and get wins. We, we saw, you know, well, we, we've lost there our last three times. Man United lost there. You know what I mean? Not an easy place, bro. You you, you, got, you don't get on top of these guys, you know what I mean? The way you're, yeah, I, like, I like the way you're talking. You're talking, obviously, it is a difficult place to come for us, especially last three games. We have lost here, but how much confidence is it building in you, though? Because Sunday is, little, it's the big one, yes. really. Yeah, and you heard me ask everyone this and they, and, they were like, yeah, good game, good win, good win. And when I saw that, they're like, oh, it's Liverpool. It's a different game, it's Liverpool. You know what I mean? They're the best team in the league right now. They've only lost one game. They're the best team in the league right now. They've got the whole clock thing going on now that he's leaving. That makes it a real emotional arm um, for all their players and fans. So do we have enough? Gonna be, that's going to be a tough game. I think we do. You know what I mean? When we played them at home in the FA Cup, we were very unfortunate, I felt, not to win that game. You know what I mean? We, we, we peppered them. You know what I mean? Um, but they've got a lot of quality. So if you don't, get the job done against them and you know the players like Jota and that you know they can hurt you you know what I mean so I think that's a very even game but we're at home we beat them at home last year we drew them at their place you know we we, we I, I think it's a very very even game you yeah. know what I mean two good sides will be going at it but we needed to win today if we didn't win today first of all I said it in the in the car on the way up yeah. right if we don't win today for me the title race is over it'll just be a top four battle mm. right we've done that and then I also said we need to win to set up Sunday. Because that now, if we win on Sunday, we, we're two points behind Liverpool yeah. in the league. And then all of a sudden, this is a completely different complexion on the title race. They've still got a game so, tomorrow as well. You never know what could happen. Yes, of course they've got a game. So I'm, I'm not on about two points yeah. now. I'm, I expect them to win their game tomorrow. Okay. But I'm saying that if we beat them, if we beat them, We've taken three points off them and we're within two points of them. And that's a whole different complexion yeah. on the league. So that game is absolutely huge on Sunday and um, I'm, I'm buzzing for that game. But yeah, going back to today, great away win. Yeah. Great away win for Arsenal. You know, and we just, we just need to, we, we need to get back to 
a little bit of momentum after yeah. Christmas, man. You know I mean, <laughs> the, the, that Fulham game, that West Ham game, right? We, you know, I, I like the way the guys have come back. You know what I mean? They've come back in the last two games, five against Palace. You know, couple tonight, a difficult place. All right, the little thing at the end. Yeah, but the win, but the win is, is the, the most win important is thing. The most important let, thing. Let, me, let, me, let me start just to finish up as well quickly. What do you think fans will be saying? We're still like in the window. We should, we should be doing business. I don't think business is going to happen by, mm. by in January. But do you think off the back of this, there'll be fans saying, oh, we still need a strike. We still need to get more. Of course. <laughs> I mean, we're fans, <laughs> isn't it? You know? and, um, but I think, you know what? I've been doing my Transfer Daily show all this month. Yeah. And I look at the comments on the show and you can see that people, they get it this month. You know what I mean? They, you look around, you see no hardly can. anybody spending money. Even Forrest, who bought 40 of players over the past couple of seasons, they ain't even bought no one. You know what I mean? Be careful. Right? So, yeah, I mean, and, and they're one of the reasons why no one's buying because they've seen the trouble that they're in, yeah. Everton are in. You know what I mean? So, the financial fair play thing's really bitten. Plus, as well, you want Arsenal to bring in players that are better than what they've that's, got. That's and, and who is that right now? That's a good point. We would have loved that Ivan Tony, but we know he's gone back to Brentford. Yeah. And then who's that striker? We're going to have to wait until the summer. It's as simple as that. And we're going to have to persevere with the guys that we got. But if Jesus puts in performances like that, I think people forget. Remember at the start of last season, mm -hmm. he was our best player. He was absolutely yeah, he was electric. Yeah. Then he got that injury. Then he came back, did all right, then injured again, then did all come back again. Then he, mm -hmm. He's been blighted by injuries. If we can keep him fit from now till the end of the season, I think he's going to be a really important player for us. Um, but yeah, huge win tonight. Huge. Thank you, Rob. Yeah.